In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your new Raspberry Pi 02W from scratch, including how to install the operating system and configure it for headless remote access. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. So let's get started. First, open a browser and search for Raspberry Pi Imager. Click the first link that you see. And from there, you need to download the tool called Raspberry Pi Imager. If you use Windows, click the link to download the Windows version. I am using a Mac, so I will be downloading and installing the Mac version of this tool. Okay, so the download is finished. Now let's open it. And I am putting this application into my Applications folder now. Now we can open the app we just installed. Simply click Open. Okay. And guys, this is our application. Now, there are only three simple steps. First, Select the Raspberry Pi device. Second, select the operating system. And third, select the storage. Now, I am using a Raspberry Pi 02W. If you have a Raspberry Pi 5, you have to select that one. Or if you have a Raspberry Pi 4, then you have to select that one. Simply choose your version and then click Choose OS button. Here, you can see so many operating systems that work with Raspberry Pi. I am going to use Raspbian, which is the usual OS design for Raspberry Pi, and it is also based on Debian. You can choose whichever operating system you want. Okay, once that is selected, okay, next, like I said before, a micro SD card is the hard disk of our Raspberry Pi. We install the operating system and everything else on it. Connect that micro SD card to your computer. Then, under the storage, click the Choose Storage button and select your micro SD card. These are the devices that are connected to my computer. And this card is the one that I am using for Raspberry Pi. After selecting it, simply click the next button. And at that time, a pop-up message will ask, would you like to apply OS customization settings? The thing is, we can change some default settings here. This will enable us to configure the Wi-Fi configuration so that during the boot up, the Raspberry Pi will be automatically connecting to our Wi-Fi network and get an IP address. To do that, simply click the Edit Settings button and in this window, and here we can change the Raspberry Pi's host name, username, password, and so many things like that. And on the top, you should be able to see a tab called Services and Options. You can simply click on that and see all the configurations that you can change before the boot up. For the time being, I will be only changing the username, the password, and make sure the SSH is enabled. Once applying all this, simply click on Save button. Now, click the Yes button and a warning message will appear. It says that all the data on the micro SD card will be erased. The card has to be formatted before printing the new image, so click on Yes. And within a few minutes, the card will be ready and you will be seeing a message, write successful. It will confirm that the Raspberry Pi OS has been written to the card. Now we can press the continue button. Okay guys, now let's go to our Raspberry Pi. Like I told you before, I am using a Raspberry Pi Zero boot. It has two micro USB port and one mini HDMI port. There is also a slot to connect our micro SD card, which acts as our hard disk. First, Let's insert our micro SD card into the card slot on the board. Now carefully insert the micro SD card that we just wrote the image to. Now let's connect a monitor. I am connecting a monitor just to show you how it looks. We can boot it even without a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. We just need the power adapter and the micro SD card. For the time being, let's connect the HDMI cable to the HDMI port of the Raspberry Pi. And if you don't have a mini HDMI cable, use a mini HDMI adapter to connect to the monitor like I am doing right now. And we have two USB ports, right? I am going to connect a 5V power adapter to the first USB port. Okay, that is done and it's secure. Now we need to connect the mouse and the keyboard. So I'll be connecting the mouse and keyboard adapter to the second USB port, okay? So we now have three connections, power, mouse and keyboard, and the HDMI connection to the monitor. Okay guys, all the connections are now complete. Now I'm going to connect the power adapter and let's see what happens. Okay, when you connect it, a green light will blink on the Raspberry Pi. If we look at the monitor, we can see it's starting up. The first boot up may take some time. 
especially since we are using a Raspberry Pi Zero, it does not have high specs. So this process will take a while. And basically, after all the processes, it will boot up to the home screen. If you turned off auto login, you need to log in with your username and password, okay? So now let's open the terminal and check the details. I am opening the terminal now and let me zoom in so it will be easier for you guys to see it. Now let's check if the hostname is the one that we set earlier. Okay, perfect. Now let's check the IP address. Okay, 192.168.1.134. So keep this in mind, all right? We'll be using it to connect to this remotely. Now make sure SSH is enabled. To do that, simply check the status of service SSH status. And here we can see it is active up and running. If it is not, make sure it is active if you want to connect to it via SSH. Now, just in case if you forget the password, you can simply change it here using this command sudo password root set or whichever the username is. You can type your password once and repeat it and that's it. So now our Raspberry Pi is set for remote access. Now, how can we access it remotely via SSH to do our project? Also, we will see how we can access the Raspberry Pi via the VNC and access the graphical user interface.